Mr. Diamond, you are the star of the overdraft show. Your bank, J.P. Morgan, collects more than seven times as much money in overdraft fees per account than your competitors. So, Mr. Diamond, how much did J.P. Morgan collect in overdraft fees from their consumers in 2020? So I, your, I think your numbers are totally inaccurate, but we'll have to sit down privately and so go through these that. These are public numbers. And, and I, also, I also want to point out we did not overdraft. Can, can you just answer account. my question? We, we How much did J.P. Morgan we collect? Did not overdraft, we did not overdraft at the Fed account. And at any request, so you never, said they needed, I'm sorry, they needed Mr. Diamond, relief. that was, Mr. Diamond, that was not the question. Did you, you had an automatic protection. So I'm asking, you were recommended, the regulators recommended you offer that same kind of protection to your customers. And, and How much, in fact, did J.P. Morgan collect in overdraft fees from their customers in 2020? Do you know the we, number? I don't know the number in front of me. But well, we, I actually we, have upon, the number in front of me. Upon it's request, one upon point request, four six three billion dollars. That's nearly one and a half billion dollars that you collected from your customers. Now, do you know how much J.P. Morgan's profit would have been in 2020 if you had followed the recommendation of the regulators and waived overdraft fees? to help struggling consumers? In other words, without that overdraft money, would your bank have been in financial trouble? We waived the fees for customers upon request if they were un under stress because of COVID. You know, I, I appreciate that you want to duck this question. Do you know how much your profits would have been if you'd actually waived all the fees as the, rec we, as we, the regulators we waived, recommended? We waived the fees every time. The answer is your profits would have been $27.6 billion. I did the math for you. So here's the thing. You and your colleagues come in today to talk about how you stepped up and took care of customers during the pandemic. And it's a bunch of baloney. In fact, it's about $4 billion worth of baloney, but you can fix that right now. Mr. Diamond, will you commit right now to refund $1.5 billion you took from consumers during the pandemic? No. Right now? No. No. That's right. Over the past year, you could have passed on the breaks that you got from the Fed to your customers, but you didn't do it. Everybody else here, those other three bankers, will any of you agree to refund the overdraft fees that you collected? I didn't think so.